Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game, man. All right, man. Is it time to call Lonzo Ball, Lonzo Ball, or Lonzo Bust? Because he is headed in that direction. Once again, another lousy game. Two points. You have to ask this question. Is it time for Luke Walton to bench Lonzo Ball? Because he's not looking like a starter. Once again, he looks clueless out there at times. Like he doesn't know what the fuck to do. Now, it's already apparent that he can't score. So, that's official. So, what else does he bring to the table? What, passing? What, assist? Y'all keep hollering about the Lakers play, you know, Philadelphia tough all night long, but who won the damn game? Exactly. It might be time to bench Lonzo. And I don't want to hear this stuff about give him some time. Let me explain something to you guys. Every time he steps on that court, every time that ball tips off and the game starts, that's his time. That's his time to produce. Keep in mind, his daddy guaranteed all this shit that they would win 50 games. He would lead the Lakers into the playoffs. He would be better than Magic Johnson. <coughs> Excuse me. Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant combined. Remember that. Now don't start talking about, oh, well, that's what his dad said. He didn't say it. Well, y'all was y'all was rolling with a uh, big ball of brand when he first started talking that shit. So don't try to... uh. You know, detach these guys now. Don't try to separate them now. Because they seem to be joint at the hip when they first came about. Y'all was loving this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was cracking up listening to the Laker apologist sitting up saying, Oh, well, nobody. Well, they won 20-some games last year. So, no, nah, wait a minute. Like I said, when his daddy was talking all that shit, y'all didn't say nothing. People kept telling y'all to tell his daddy to pipe down. So now, like I said, LeBar is looking real bad right about now. He's looking real bad on a, on a lot of different things. One, he decided to go open up a fucking shoe store while his son was looking at 10 years in, in, you know, in a third world country prison. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, LeAngelo is home, but he's uh, suspended indefinitely. You know, we all knew that at the very least that was coming. So, I mean, come on, man. We got to keep it 100, man. He's not playing well, man. He's not playing well. He is underachieving. And I don't want to hear this shit about give him some time. Uh, I'm tired of hearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was talking all, some of y'all ballaholics was talking all this shit when he first got drafted. Like I keep saying, he is not looking like a number two overall draft pick. To be honest with you, the way Lonzo is playing, he's looking like a second round draft pick. And the Lakers should not have drafted him number two at this point. Which I'll talk about Magic Johnson in the next video. But Lonzo is not playing well. and You guys have to accept it. He's not playing well at all. He's looking like a bust already. Like I keep saying, man, his dad was the one that put all these expectations on him. So now he has to deliver. If you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at his dad. Because when people kept telling his dad that he need to tone it down and just be cool and shit, y'all kept saying, oh, well, he, he a dad, he's a good dad, he care about his son, and he just trying to build up his son. But at the end of the day, I saw right through that nigga, man. You know, Snickertooth was all about himself. Real talk. I've noticed now he ain't been kind of, I've noticed now he's been kind of quiet. He ain't been tweeting and talking shit since his son ain't been playing well. And I think that's good. I think if LeBar doesn't say anything, I think he gives his son a chance to actually attempt to get better. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, hopefully Ticket brings this up because me and Ticket talked about this behind the scenes that maybe Lonzo would be better on a small market team instead of playing for the Lakers. Like I said, whether we like it or not, the Lakers are the NBA's more 
key team. When you play for the Lakers, you have to produce right away. It is better for the NBA if the Lakers are somewhat relevant. Whether we like it or not, that's the way it has to be. And it's the same thing in Major League Baseball. It is better for Major League Baseball if the Yankees are, you know, making the playoffs or at least having a good season. That's whether we like it or not. The Yankees and the Dodgers are, you know, Major League Baseball's marquee teams. And we can bitch whine and moan about it all we want. But that's just the way it is. Shout out to Coach Shelton Harrison. But uh, anyway, man, let me get to Magic Johnson on the next video. Anyway, I'm out.